In this video we're given three equations, we want to rewrite them as their inverse and then also in terms of y, which means we want to set them equal to y. Now we'll go ahead and start with part a here, we have y equals 5 to the x power. And the inverse just means that we have to switch the x and the y values. So as you can see the y became x and then the x became y and you got your base there. Now the tricky part about this is that we have to write it in terms of y, and like I said, that just means we have to set it equal to y. But our y value, as you can see, is in our exponent, and that's, that's what makes it hard. So we're going to take our inverse function of an exponential function, which is what all these are, and we're going to move it to this form, which is log form. So that means that I'm going to write log right here, and compare these variables to this variable, so or these variables. So I have log already, and it looks like this big base becomes a little base. So over here I have a big 5 as a base. Well, I want to write that smaller down here, and that's the little base of the log. And then we're, we're going to do log base b of a, a variable here, which is x, and the x is what this was previously set equal to. And this is set equal to x, so it looks like we're going to put our x right there. And then our log expression is set equal to y, and previously our y was the exponent, so I look at the exponent up here, which is, again, a y, and we want to set it equal to that. So here's our equation. We have log base 5 of x equals y. And there we go. We, we set it in terms of y. Now, if you're looking at that and you're like, uh, I'm kind of confused, it's not very clear, well, this is what I usually do. I rewrite log, I just write it for the first time, and then I take my big base, which was 5, and I rewrite it as my little base. And then I just basically switch spots between these two variables. So my y becomes down here, and then my x kind of goes together with my 5. Now, I'll explain what, you know, I'll, I'll do it again over here for part b. Now, to get the inverse, um, I'm going to have to switch the x and the y. But before we do that, we need to isolate this base part first with its exponent. So to do that, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So that goes away, and I'm going to rewrite it. So now that my base with its exponent is by itself, I could actually flip-flop the x and the y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. And now I have my y and the exponent. And like over here, that was a problem. So we're going to go from this form right here to log form. And remember, I said that I want to start off by writing log. And then my big base, which is 4, becomes the little base of my log. And then I'm going to take this part right here and switch it with this part. It's like they trade spots. So with the 4, now I'm going to write x plus 2. And then that's going to be set equal to y and that's what we wanted to uh, we want to do we want to write it in terms of y on the part C uh, it's kind of nice because we're starting off with the base isolated it's by itself with its exponent so now I could just go ahead and switch the X and the Y right away and again we get into the problem of our Y uh, variable being in the exponent so I need to use my log form and I start off by writing log and then my big base here, which is 3, becomes my little base right there. And then I take this part and this part, and I trade spots. So now I write the x with the 3 here. And then my equation is set equal to y plus 1. But the, the extra step that we have to do here is get y by itself. Um, so that means we just take away a 1, which means we take away 1 here. And I'm going to rewrite it. So as our answer, we're going to have log base 3 of x minus 1, and that's going to equal y. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that uh, we're not subtracting 1 from x. All right? Treat log base 3 of x together. That all goes together. This is not the same. Watch what I write here. If we had x minus 1 like this, this is not the same as that. Um, if we have our subtraction of 1 on the outside of the parentheses right here, then it's an, on its own. But um, if we do have parentheses, it's going to be something different. So 
just keep that in mind when you're rewriting forms.